Will Charlotte Tilbury redeem herself when it comes to concealers? So Charlotte Tilbury just launched her own new Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. It's available on the Charlotte Tilbury website. I'll have it linked down below in the description box for you guys. If you're new here, I strongly, strongly, strongly dislike Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Wand Concealer, which is what she's had in her line for years now at this point. And I love Charlotte Tilbury. Everything she comes out with is so great but I just couldn't understand why her concealer was so drying, aging, and not good for me. So she recently just launched this new one, so I'm excited to see my thoughts in it. I just feel like it can't be much harder to get worse than what we had before. Personal opinion, I know some people like it, but I didn't. I ordered it, here it is. You can get it on the Charlotte Tilbury website. It is $33, and this is a medium coverage hydrating concealer to conceal correct brighten and lift the look of your eye and face. I picked up the shade 5 medium, which is a fair medium shade with yellow undertone. I also wear shade 5 in the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, so I thought since these two were the same name, I'd try them out. So let's get into it. The concealer itself comes in this box with all of her crazy claims that she always has. Clinically proven, conceals, brightens, and lifts the look of skin, medium, buildable coverage, 16 hour wear, we will see about that. We have even more, um, if you wanna pause, you can look at it. Let's see, this has a six month shelf life, which is very short for concealer. Normally concealers are around the 12 month point, so keep that in mind, and made in Germany. So here is the packaging itself. As you can see, much more simple than her previous concealer. It also has a doe foot. Her other concealer has a sponge. I much prefer this. Let's get into application. Okay, so let's see the swatch right now. Excuse my nails, I'm trying to hold off until Monday to get them done. But this is what we're looking like. And then, so it has a thicker consistency, but it blends out, if you ask me, really, really nice. I love how it looks on the hand. But of course, the face is what matters most. You can definitely see there's like a glowy element to it. Up close, lights are low, I want you to see. Like I said, I have the Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation on underneath, because obviously they're gonna be designed to be paired together. So, I'm just gonna get some right here and right here. I'm gonna start off with a little bit. I can build up if necessary. I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. Blend this out. So I like to put color right here because I have a little bit of blue right in this area. And then we're gonna spread it out. So it is a thicker consistency concealer. It's not blending out difficult, it's blending out just fine. But you know, sometimes you just have thinner, more liquidy concealers that you put a little bit down and it kind of covers a larger area. Not with this. It didn't cover too large of an area, but I really like this lighter application. I'd say definitely it gave a medium coverage, and here's the difference between no concealer and concealer. What are you thinking so far? I can definitely see a glow on the under eye. Let me get a little closer to a mirror. So it does definitely have a glowier appearance, which is very different from her other concealer. It looks pretty lightweight. Let me pop on a little more on this eye and see. So I'm gonna go in with a thicker layer here to see if that makes a difference with wear. This shade, if you are a color match with me, it is a great brightening color. It was a little lighter than I was hoping for it to be, but honestly, it blends in beautifully to highlight the area of the face. I'm honestly not used to my concealers being more on the glowier side like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some cream bronzer and blush before I put any powder down so that this can settle and we can see without powder how this settles into the skin. So give me a moment and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I put on my cream bronzer and liquid blush, both from Charlotte Tilbury. I have no powder on my face. It's been about five or so minutes and I have to say what I'm impressed with is the concealer has not sunken into the fine lines of my eye yet. With the previous Charlotte Tilbury concealer, it did it in like a millisecond and I look aged. The only thing that I'm not obsessed with about this is because it's so glowy, it actually, compared to the Airbrush Flawless Finish, you can see, you know, clearly where the foundation is. There's not much glow. And then wherever I apply 
the concealer, there is a glow to it. And I don't necessarily find that the most flattering for the under eyes. I think a satin finish is fine. But this is straight up glowy to the point where it's emphasizing all the texture and little bumps. So for more mature skin, I don't know how that's going to play out. But by the books, glow is unflattering under the eye area like that. But on the contrary, for more mature lids, it really is sitting pretty with a lack of powder. But I do find the glow to be a little unflattering. In some lights, I feel like I can see a little bit of shimmers on the under eye. But I'm really, really searching for it. I think it's fine. Thing that I would like to add while I'm sitting here editing, that glow is not going to be good for spot concealing so if you have a pimple that's protruding out of your face it's gonna be glowing like a flashlight so this is not really good for spot concealing just in case you were curious but i think it looks very good without setting powder but for me on the daily i need to have setting powder so i am going to do that so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just make sure everything is smoothed out over here which i don't need to do much because it didn't travel and we're gonna stick with charlotte tilbury here and i'm gonna use her airbrush flawless setting powder now i know she just came out with a new powder i did order it you guys but it won't be on my channel anytime soon because i sent it to my old address like the smarty that I am. So I won't be reviewing that anytime soon, but we're gonna go with the classic. I'm gonna get just a little bit, not too much to see how this really works, but we're gonna roll it lightly, press it on the under eye. And doing this right here instantly made the concealer much more flattering because I mean, you can see the glow and then the powder just took that away and it looks nice and lightweight under the eye. So we're gonna do it on this eye. And I know some people don't use powder on their under eyes. For me, it's part of my everyday routine. So I gotta do it to really do the comparison. I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face right here. Hey, amazing. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face. I'm gonna keep it really light around the eyes so that we can see how we act under here throughout the day and I'll be right back. Let's take a look at the under eyes with the full face of makeup on. I went really light on the shadow on the under eye, literally just trying to keep it pretty close to the lash line. I'll get these mascara bits off later. But so far, I think it's looking really, really good. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of lineage happening, but like that's my face. You know what I mean? If you have lines, they're gonna be there. But I don't think it looks too heavy on the under eye. I think it looks nice. Do I think this is the most flattering concealer in the world? I do not. I think the glow is just a little bit too much that even with powder, I can kind of see the texture. So it's not the most smoothing concealer ever, but as of now, I feel like it is miles better than the other concealer. I like how lightweight it feels on the under eye and it doesn't seem to be doing too much swimming yet. Looks nice and lightweight as well. It's not gonna give you full coverage perfection if that's what you're looking for. But this seems to be a very wearable concealer so far. So I'm gonna continue wearing this throughout the day because time tells all when it comes to complexion products. But so far, I'm very happy with this concealer. I do plan on testing it more, testing it without powder, seeing how that does. It's not probably to my taste of a concealer exactly, but performance wise right now, it's doing really, really well. So I will be back to give you guys a wear test in a few hours so we can see how it's doing. Be aware, there will be some traveling happening in the under eyes just because that's, that's how it works. But so far, it is a pretty good concealer, all things considered. So I'll see you soon. It's been a couple hours since I have been wearing the concealer. And this is on my iPhone so you can kind of see it from a different lens. I mean, I think it looks really good. The dark spots are from this mascara, which is definitely transferring, but my under eyes look so nice. Even where you can see it's swimming into fine lines, it looks really good and lightweight. And if I weren't doing a wear test, all I'd need to do is pat it out and I would be good as new. 
but so far we're only a couple hours in but i am so into this concealer in terms of the wear time who's ready for the update it's been multiple hours since i've been wearing the concealer and here's how we're looking the little splotches i don't know if you can see this is the makeup forever profession all mascara yeah she transfers just fyi as i'm continuing to test this mascara out as well but ignore the black dots i think the concealer looks really good i mean you might be looking at me like I can see your lines, but they're there. I like, you know, I smile. <laughs> it happens, but it doesn't look cakey or dry or anything like that. I still think it actually looks awfully fresh given how many hours I've been wearing this. No, I think it wears really good. So for me, okay, I'm uncomfortably close. Let me back up. <laughs> I get close to you guys so that you can see, but like... God, look at myself and I'm like, Ugh. but anyways, a major pro for me is the longevity on this. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than the first concealer. That concealer, by the end of the day, I looked so gross on the under eye area. This looks so good after being worn for this amount of time. But upon initial application, I'm not really the biggest fan of it. It's too glowy for my preferences. It, it it really does emphasize the bumps and lumps on under eyes. I don't like it when concealers do that. I love a smooth finish, obviously, who doesn't? So I think a lot of you who do have you know, some texture underneath the eyes. Be aware it will be emphasized. But I will say, once I set it with a little bit of powder, and literally just a little bit of powder, that went away. If you use a good powder, that should smooth over it and take it away for the most part. So it's not the most smoothing concealer, but I think the wear for me outweighs the actual finish because I can doctor it anyways. I am really, really happy with this concealer. Generally speaking, comparing it to my collection, it's not beating out my Too Faced Born This Way full coverage multi-use concealer. Okay, that to me creates the smoothest under eye, just like goes right over it. It's not a top tier concealer for me, but it's a really good one. And it is one that I would recommend if you're interested. And if you do like that glowy look to the under eyes, I think you will really like this one, especially given how it wears. If you wear a lot of glowy makeup and complexion products, I think this will be the perfect complement to that if that's your style of makeup. I mean, I'm mostly here to talk about performance and I really do think it delivered. So it's up to you to decide if you think it's worth it or not. I'm not saying $33 is cheap but I'm so used to spending over 50 plus dollars on Charlotte Tilbury that like this seems a little bit more attainable than other items in her collection so I'm really happy because whenever I did full face of Charlotte Tilbury I was always missing that concealer category and now whenever I do a full face I'm pretty much wearing a full face with the exception of a few things I will be happy to pull out this concealer so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this review I actually am gonna wear this for a few more hours so if anything changed in where I will comment and pin it for you guys just in case you know because I'm gonna be honest I haven't exactly left the house since I put this concealer on and once Jose gets home from work we're gonna go out and do stuff so I'll put some wear and tear on it and let you guys know uh, but I'm really happy with this and I want to hear your thoughts as well so make sure you guys like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel I'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one